Tony plays. <laughs> oh my God! Miss me. Bye bye. Hey. Um, oh. Um, oh. My favorite video is the one of the man <laughs> from Steady Stan. <laughs> Kids, put on the video of the man. <laughs> <laughs> no. <You don't>. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like no, that. No, please. Please, no. Not that one. It is Not the only one, thing Grandpa. I ask of you, my sweet. Misbehaving children need to watch the man. <laughs> it's just a really far shot of a man. <laughs> <laughs> a wide shot like he's in the middle of a field. <laughs> It sounds fucking creepy. In the middle of a fucking gray <laughs> sounds desert. like the beginning of like a ring sequel. <laughs> yeah. The man. The video of the man. The video. He ducks down into the grass, then all of a sudden a hand creeps out of the screen, reaches out of the screen. What if the man just fell out of the screen and he was tiny in real life? <laughs> <laughs> like Mike TV from Willy Wonka. <laughs> He's a tiny blurry black figure. Everybody gets real scared and yeah. they run away. You try stepping on him like a spider and he runs under the kitchen fridge. Oh no! Oh, that, that, that would, would suck. That would be scary. That would suck. I would be scared if a tiny man was loose in my apartment. Yeah, dude. And I didn't know where he was. You were trying to kill him and he like snuck behind the refrigerator he'd or some starve. shit. No, he wouldn't because he's clearly. Find, you'd find him like behind the stove. He's suffocating. Yeah, but no, then you need to move your whole stove. He's clearly a supernatural entity if he comes out of the <laughs> TV. Yeah, but he's a tiny man running around. That doesn't mean anything. Thing. <laughs> His power was to be a tiny man. I don't know, it would just it be doesn't creepy. mean anything. Okay, well, what would you do if he ran over to the wall and put his hands on the wall and started flipping up the wall like those little guys you throw at the wall to flip down the wall? <laughs> Except in reverse. Yeah, yeah, he's going up the wall. And he, and he goes up into the ceiling and hides in the crack. I'd hang up a bug zapper so he could crash into him. <laughs> he's not gonna fall for that. He's a, he's a grown human male. He's not a bug. He's tiny. Mm. Yeah. And he's blurry. But why is he blurry? That because would be he came freaky. out of the TV. He's got static and he's blurry. That would be freaky in any case. If there was a normal sized person and they were just blurry all the time. <laughs> I'd shoot a Nerf gun at him. <laughs> he turned Chris, the Nerf gun black and white. How, how would you react if uh, you, you went out to go get some snacks at night and you went out into... It was a dark alley, mm -hmm. and this guy, it's perfectly lit, mm -hmm. it's not It's not a dark alley, it's its lit, and so a guy <laughs> comes out. It's a out. perfectly lit dark alley. <laughs> Just <laughs> enough light to be dark. A guy comes, a guy comes out, and his, his edges are all blurry, and you can't make out his features, and he goes... <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd be frightened. I'd, uh, I'd throw a trash can lid at him and see if it goes through him. Uh, it bounces off of him, and he goes... <laughs> <laughs> Then I'd run at him and kill him because <laughs> he got hurt by a trash can lid. But uh, Julian, what if the little man came out and he, and he ran up and grabbed your foot, uh -huh. and then you were just <laughs> no sound came out of you anymore? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're just like scr you're like screaming, Ursula, but no who's sound. St stealing Ariel's <laughs> voice. Yeah, all you can hear is a really low rumble, like. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like screaming blood at the top of his lungs. Check this out. I'm gonna fall right onto it. Oh. That's very scary. I didn't. Th I didn't know it doesn't let you jump. <laughs> it's very scary. <laughs> Look at little crash. <laughs> he's tiny. <laughs> oh god, he's getting bigger. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Bob! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> you fucking <laughs> hard. Would you be? Would you be scared if you if you saw somebody die? Fuck me. <laughs> If you saw somebody die, but then their corpse started getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> <laughs> started bloating really hard. <laughs> what, if, what if they were spinning while growing bigger, too? Yeah. And they kept spinning faster and growing oh. larger. In the dark? Yeah. In the dark. That would be horrible. They had a light source coming from them. What if Object Motherfucker blew you up with a pink tube? What if they were- Well, I did it again. That's great. What if pink they, tubes. What if they were dark, but they, pink they had a light source coming from them? So like the whole room was illuminated except for them. <laughs> These are dumb hypotheticals with no, no answers to give. <laughs> A hypothetical is supposed to make you think and question your own morality. Mama Luigi. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a perfect one. That's a perfect hypothetical. Would you rather Mama Luigi? <laughs> would you rather Mama or Luigi? Not would you rather Mama Luigi? Because what's the opposite end to it? That's what I'm saying. You guys are bullshit today. <laughs> How upset would you be if a girl was sucking you off, 
But then that she, would be really upsetting. It started like extending out of you, and it's like she sl it disconnected and she slurped it down like a noodle. I would, and she swallowed it. Honestly, I would probably like punch her really hard in the face. What? And Jesus try and knock Christ, her out. Chris! What? She she fucking ripped no, my that's part of her respect. sex act. It's called a dirty Sanchez or something. What? what? Dirty Sanchez. What are you what talking is it a donkey about? punch? Why are you getting mad at me for? A girl rips off my dick purposefully. I'm gonna. It doesn't rip off. Like it comes off cleanly. Yeah. It's still off okay, my body. Okay. What what if she's jerking you off and then she claps her hands together, starts rubbing really fast, and it's really thin and long. <laughs> <laughs> like and she leaves it on it's you. Made of she, clay. she gives you a thinner but longer I'd weenie. Probably sewer. <laughs> but she gave you a bigger one. It's longer. It's not bigger. So. It's just, that's gonna feel worse. Do you care how she feels, Chris? You're okay with punching her, apparently! <laughs> I'm gonna kill her, dude. Welcome to Fairy Vision. Hmm. What would you do if Donald Trump <laughs> ran on stage to this song every time he was giving his He'd be flapping his arms. <laughs> Is looking around at people in the audience. <laughs> He's like zooming around. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Trump, you're not a fairy. <laughs> I would like that. <laughs> He's pointing a camera at everyone. <laughs> <laughs> He's treating it really whimsical. He bumped into a wall. I wish we had a president that did that. <laughs> Obama, you missed your chance. That's true. Could have got some real gamer you cred. Been, you could have been the fun president. Did Wait. I tell that story that I didn't like McDonald's as a kid? I didn't like Ronald McDonald because I thought he got his clown makeup and all the food. His greasy clown <laughs> makeup. What if? Because uh, if... I thought he prepared the food, so he <laughs> he would go in the kitchen because he's sweating back there. His his greasy makeup okay. would be getting in all of it. Okay, Julian. Yeah. What if you were at McDonald's and there was a Ronald McDonald just like guy in a suit walking around entertaining kids, uh -huh. and then uh, when a kid was looking so it's away, back at me. No, no, no. This is a new scenario. Oh. So you're sitting, you're enjoying a delicious McDonald's burger, right? Oh. You look over, this kid's like, ha ha, ha, waving at you, and you're like, oh. You wave back, right? Yeah. You get back to your burger, and you look up, and Ronald McDonald is behind the kid, right? Yeah. And he's like, he's doing all goofy shit and making the kid laugh, right? Okay. And you're like, oh, this, this is nice. And then the kid looks away, right? Look, looks out at the window at a bird. Ronald McDonald stares you in the eye, and he grabs his nose. He sprays puss into the kid's oh, no. burger. <laughs> Pus from his nose? <laughs> just, just disgusting pus, and he smiles, and then he puts the top back on the burger, and the kid looks around, and he's about to eat it. What would you do? I hate this. I hate this so much. That must be- that's one of the most disgusting visuals I can think of. Is if- if a, if a clown nose was actually just swollen from pus. <laughs> like he squeezes it, and it's not red anymore because he drained it out. Julian, what would you do? Uh, I'd probably... Julian, just, what, 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 okay. Is the kid by himself or are his parents there? This will help. What if his nose then popped off his face and it bounced on the floor like a normal ping pong ball? What? How would that help? <laughs> yeah, what does that imply? That implies you're going crazy. Okay, uh, I would jump on the ceiling and do a... <laughs> Tiptoe dance. Okay, so okay, now never mind that. His his nose is still full of puss. Okay. His puss. <laughs> puss nose. So much pussy. <laughs> Julian, come on. What would you do? I'd probably I'd probably say don't eat that, and I'd show him the burger. But then there would be it would be magically clean again. Exactly. And I would look like a crazy man. Yeah. And then you go to jail for hitting on a Ronald kid. Would... <laughs> hitting on a kid. <laughs> Ronald will say, "What are you looking for? Puss? What are you looking for? A pussy?" And he shoves me. <laughs> and then he lifts the bun again, and there's a vagina on top of the. Oh my god! That, that, no, that would be horrifying. Julian, what would you do if uh, he lifted up the burger bun when the kid's looking away again, and, and there was a big was floppy dick just like swinging around, and he puts the thing back down, and I it's... would take it home with me. You'd steal the kid's burger. Yeah, it had a dick in it. <laughs> what if you got home and you and you pulled open the burger bun again? And the dick's not there, but instead sad. a big pussy vagina. It's Ronald's oh face, and he winks at you. <laughs> what would you do if uh, you woke up in prison from uh, talking to the kid and Ronald McDonald sprayed puss on the bars and broke you out? Uh, I, would, I would go stay at his weird crack house. Would you trust him now? Yeah. Okay. Because clearly, <laughs> clearly he orchestrated the whole thing to get to me. Yeah. Like this, this is all a plan to get me back to his apartment for some reason. Okay, and then he brings you back to his apartment, and now there now, a bunch of other clowns there. Is it like a clown resistance that they're trying to recruit? He me begins into? his process of mitosis and splits into many more Ronald McDonalds. Oh. Then they make a big chain and they block you from leaving. Do they turn into a giant ball? 
<laughs> a big Starts ball of clowns to start rolling around shooting at you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no one's gonna understand that. Have we talked about this before. We yeah, talked we about it. It's Enderon. Okay. But um, Julian. <laughs> yeah. What if the only way out was through Ronald McDonald's own the cavity? Like his body. Yeah. I would go. I would love to go inside of clown's body. It's probably really goofy in there. It's full of puss. There wouldn't be like balloons or nothing. No, it's just it'd clown just puss. Be really disgusting. Oh, that would be disappointing. There's French fry rem remnants in there. I'd probably still do it. Really... I would do like a fantastic journey. Sort of thing. <laughs> I wish we had like a better game. Ozama DNA to play with. What? what? If in the future there's like stores where you can buy like oh Osama DNA or Hitler what? DNA, oh, why? You can grow a little tiny version of one, one punch Osama, make like a perfect <laughs> yeah, you, Osama that you, you you can have cute little like water. It's like it's, it's Brian Shrimp, but they're implanted with their DNA. <laughs> yeah, so you have Brian little... Shrimp have Osama bin Laden's <laughs> DNA. <in. laughs> you tell me if you didn't have a little cute clone of Osama, you wouldn't fuck with him. Why are you calling him Ozama? Ozama? Ozama in the highest. Why are you calling him Ozama? <laughs> Jose! Why can't I? Osama! You're supposed to sit in the chairs, but it's Osama. not letting me. If, hey, Julian. Yeah? If you had a tiny little teeny tiny clone of Ozama... Would Ozama? You, would, like, would you Sounds feel, like a Japanese last name. Would you feel bad about torturing it? Osama is a last- is a, it's a Japanese name. Yeah. Osama Tezuka. Yeah, exactly. This Julian. is the guy that made, uh... The would fuck you, did he make? Julian, would you uh, feel bad? Astro Boy yeah. Kimba. Mean fuck kingdom. <laughs> Julian! What, what, what? Did you torture him? Torture what, the little Osama? Yeah. No, because he didn't do anything. No, he, he, Osama's it, actions were it, learned, it, it's they're a, not genetically no, in him. No, it, but it's a clone of his brain after he did it. But this Osama didn't do anything. Yeah, but he's the same guy it, it who did it. It doesn't work that way either. It, it does work. This that Osama way. didn't do anything. Yeah, you, but if you he's on a brain. You're not getting all the information from the brain. Yeah, you are. Says who? <laughs> Says my fucking logic. And Memories my can't this be is why transferred. You're not a scientist. <laughs> I know I'm not. I'm a. F this is why you're playing video games for a living, Chris. I'm asking. <laughs> this is why you got called a fucking freezy pop. <laughs> okay, imagine he got fucking teleported, right? Okay, it's the same fucking I guy. Just, where am I? <laughs> it's the same guy. He's teleported. It's the is same it a tiny little guy. terrarium. But that but wouldn't happen with a clone. This is fucking not real life. This is in your brain right now. Basically, are you well, saying then, whose brain is it? Osama's or his brain? If you're making <sighs> shit up, then all you have to say is, "Oh, you have you you have the Osama bin Laden." Of course, I'm brain. making shit up. You have a small well, Osama bin Laden. the actual Osama. Why does that to be a clone? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's a <laughs> fucking, That's what I'm saying. Give him the real deal. No, it's a clone of the real guy, but his brain no, is Chris. the exact same. Just then it's give not him a the clone. Real, no, because it's not Chris. The real Osama. Chris, no. I can't. This is part of the logic. Obviously, if, if he's no, the if guy, it's a clone, you... then he didn't do anything. <laughs> he's the he's exact same. He's the exact. No, why? That, why that, does that have to be no, a clone? Because it's hypothetical. Clone. Obviously, you can give him the real one. Obviously, if you want the real Osama, uh, give him the real Osama. It's a hypothetical. No. You don't need a clone. I'm, I'm telling a clone you, clone isn't innocent. Chris, it doesn't, doesn't make sense. You just have these thoughts. I'm telling you that if it's the real guy, of course you would torture him. That's why I'm asking if it was a clone. Oh. Who says of course he's going to torture him? Maybe he's more humane than you. No. If Hitler was in your fucking pocket and you could do whatever you wanted with him, you'd fuck with him because he's a be bad funny. guy. Why would you? He'd be you? funny to have around. <laughs> I would torture him. i boiling milk on his face. I, it's like monsters in my pocket. <laughs> it's with Hitler. Hitler in my pocket. Like a little commercial for yeah, Hitler in my pocket. That's what I'm saying. You guys would fucking have a wild time with it. I would- I would have a wild time with it, Would but you get horny to it if you had a little Hitler? Because it was- you put him in your coochie? I'd shove him up my pussy. <laughs> yeah. I'd bring him on a Let's Play. <laughs> hey, say what do you think? help me? <laughs> Where am I? You guys didn't answer the question. I know you didn't I... ask a good hypothetical! <laughs> this is the hypothetical! If you had a clone not... of Hitler, would you torture it? No, Why not just say if you had a tiny little Hitler? Because I, no, listen. If it's a clone, I wouldn't because that person didn't commit yeah, the didn't, actions. Oh it's a God, genetic he clone. He did. He did. And if it's a clone, he didn't fucking do anything. He did do it. No, because he's an identical clone. He didn't do shit. The actual Hitler did it, Chris. He actually did it, but this guy did it in his thoughts and in his mind. No, he he didn't that's it. That's it. That's Chris, it. Chris, he didn't no. do anything. He's dead. still a bad guy. He sound guy. like he's, he's still, still a bad guy. You're not aware of it. He's still if bad. If he thought about it, he didn't know he's that. He's still evil. He thinks Chris, he did it. Chris, Chris your neighbor could be thinking these things too. <laughs> 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 
Chris, but you're, you're basically you have the same mindset as those people on Tumblr that are like, oh, I think I had wings in another life, therefore I did. <laughs> you guys are not listening. I am listening. You're, you're not, not making sense. You're listen, not making logical listen. sense. I am making logical sense. Listen no, to me. Not. Listen no, to me not. one more time. This is exactly how I'm, I'm saying okay, it. Okay, go ahead. Explain this is yourself. exactly it. Explain if yourself. If I cloned one of you guys, yes. Okay. If I cloned you, Matt, and I killed the real you, now I've got your clone, right? What? Stop! Wait, Don't wait. interrupt! Don't interrupt, right? The real clone wakes up in Matt's bed. He doesn't know he's a clone. He thinks That's he's not the how same clones work. Oh my Chris. god, this is how my fucking clone works. Then it's not a clone! <laughs> this is my it's hypothetical! A it's a fucking homunculus you made up! <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? What's a homunculus? It's a tiny little artificial person. What kind of clone are you talking about? A clone, a clone means that you you got their genetic material and you grew a new one from a baby. Yes, okay, but now imagine it this way. He grew in one second. He grew from a baby into a man then in one he's second. Still it's not a clone! He's this still is a not fucking gonna, fake he's story! He's still not gonna have my memories. Yes, he will! He's just gonna remember having been born a second ago. I'm saying ago. that in this world, the clone still has the memories. I said that from then the beginning. Then it's not a he's clone! Like a what clone too. what is he, a copy? Instant, if he yes. grew up in an instant, he's going to be drooling and he's gonna act like This was what the whole argument was about? You have a Julian who is <laughs> drooling and peeing his pants <laughs> because he's still a child. Fine. We already I got should've that. fucking said, not a clone, he's a fucking perfect copy, okay? Yes. Say that. Okay, there you go. Fine. He's a perfect copy of Hitler. Would you fucking torture him? But did he, did he do anything? <laughs> Was he the person that committed the crimes? <laughs> did he do anything? No. He thinks he did. <laughs> but, he, but he didn't. Why am I torture someone for thinking? Chris, in a criminal, in a criminal case, he, he would still do it if he could. In a lawsuit, can you, can you, in, in a lawsuit, can you like? You he know? also fucking kill himself anyways if he thought he did it. <laughs> no, you, you know, you hide the gun from him. What? Well, that's not he gonna change. He's he killed him in a in a lawsuit. If someone thinks they did something, they they didn't do it. That doesn't hold up. H Hitler took out his he expressed his Second Amendment right and used his <laughs> pistol and shot himself in the head. Do you have a sec you don't ah! have a Second Amendment right if you're not a citizen, right? I don't know. Well, if you're under if you're in America, would, would Hitler have the right to use a gun? Commenters, please let us know. I, yeah, I'm curious. I don't know if that. No, I mean, yeah. I mean, I think if you're in America, look, I wouldn't like, torture him. It, that was the joke. But the, I'm, I'm saying that if you had a tiny, perfect copy of Hitler, would you fuck with him? Why don't you just say? Why don't you say if you had a Hitler himself as a tiny version? No, it's a copy of him. <laughs> no, that I wouldn't why fuck with him because he didn't do anything. Wait, wait. No, you're saying he's tiny too. Why is he tiny? That's a good point. <laughs> because he's easy to fuck with. <laughs> If he was fully grown, he could probably grab uh, a knife and kill you. Hitler would probably say, pick out someone your own size, and, and then say, he'd run nah! around. And I don't spit think Hitler ran around with a knife and tried to kill people either. He'd run into a little mouse hole in the wall. <laughs> Child plays like Chucky. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. <laughs> Listen, if Chucky, you were locked yeah. in a room with Hitler, and it was just you and him, and you were fucking with him, he'd probably want to get out, and if you wouldn't let him, he'd kill you. No, he'd be confused as fuck, because yeah, he just be time traveled. <laughs> he time traveled. That's a he, good point, Yeah, he too. wouldn't know what anything is. <laughs> Listen to me. Do you think he's healthy, Chris? Do you think he's- he, he probably- I think he smoked and drank a lot? Okay, Matt. The fucking copy does of Hitler if he was perfect health. Yeah, does that any of that go- okay, Chris, perfect health. Chris, if he's tiny, he could just run into a little mouse hole in the wall and I wouldn't see him No, again. you're in a perfectly fucking <laughs> like sealed white room. room with no doors or windows. Ugh. Why- where is this situation coming this from? Is, <laughs> the, this is the most elaborate <laughs> spot to be in. You teleported in there so neither of you could get out on, until you What's push, the button, you until you push the button on your watch. Why are you, you so passionate out? about this? I'm not. I'm just wondering. Listen, you're trapped in a floating castle in the sky. There's no doors, no windows. <laughs> it's filled halfway with water. And there's a, ti a tiny little Hitler who has all the same memories, no health problems. And Rick Moranis is on the television Moranis? in the corner. More anus? Rick Moranis. More anus. <laughs> That's the guy from Honey. Alan's on the TV and little Hitler's getting a little bit peeved, little but he isn't quite too sure why. <laughs> and he also has a tiny little dagger. A he does not have but a tiny little But you have two dagger. matches in your hand and your wallet. 27 to, cents inside. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Julian. This is too funny. If you see Hitler in there. Okay, I'll let, I'll let him know. Is it Hitler or is it a perfect copy? Know. Is it a clone? It's a what perfect it? copy. If I see Hitler in six there, inches. I'll let him know that That's not a perfect copy! <laughs> it is! It's a perfect copy! Six inches is not a perfect fucking copy! God, you guys- Perfect means you perfect! Guys don't have an imagination at all! I do, it's not- it doesn't make sense though. It does fucking make sense! 
You're making up the meaning of words. Perfect copy if, means if I, he's a perfect if copy. I fucking said, no, no, six inches tall. If I fucking said, what if you were in Harry Potter world, you would have eaten it up. You would have accepted said somebody, it. Oh, it's a perfect copy of Harry Potter. They wouldn't imagine he's six inches tall, would they? I fucking said from the fucking beginning that he was fucking small. <laughs> but he's not a <laughs> He's not a perfect copy. He is. He just got shrunk down after he was perfectly copied. <laughs> What the fuck is going on in the game? <laughs> Holy this shit. the worst hypothetical. <laughs> it's not. It was a good one. No, it wasn't, no, Chris. It wasn't. I'm sorry, but it wasn't. You guys are fucking dumb. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my god. We disagree with your hypothetical, and, it, and so we're fucking dumb? <laughs> you just don't understand it. You just don't I understand. do understand Listen, it. When I make up... New definition for words that you guys don't understand. It. You're fucking idiots. What can I say? And I, I do understand it perfectly. Look, what you're I, I saying. I will admit. Just okay, I will admit that the uh, me I, saying I clone. Admit, I went a, fee, uh, a little too far. Me saying place. clone was the only un understandable thing. But you then, said perfect copy. A six inches tall. Yes. That's not the same thing. And he has perfect I health, but he hasn't committed anything. He's dumb, but he's got the same memories. And he's six <laughs> inches tall in a white room with no doors or no windows. <laughs> yes. And you have How are you supposed to fucking breathe then? Yeah, you, you guys are fucking, fucking dumb. Breath mask I'm more on and an oxygen that. tank. What? I, 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 <laughs> Keep adding shit. So wait, are you, are you going to eventually fucking die anyways? It's Why are you guys more concerned about that? Why are you guys so Hitler? focused on the stupid details? Oh, so you're the one bringing you're up the stupid come at you with a knife. It's six inches. It's the size of a you're knife. You're the one. You're gonna come after this takes, a knife. <laughs> it takes place in 12th century <laughs> Romania too. It takes place in fucking 2017. Does he have a centimeter knife? He's six inches tall. How's he gonna take a knife and go in? Why does that it? even matter? Because you brought that up too. What, Mario? You said you need to torture him, otherwise he's gonna come at you with a knife. He's the fucking size of a knife. What's he gonna do? <laughs> I said. He's gonna drag it behind I him. I said if he's he was big, he would come at you. Ball. I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> if he was big, he'd come at you with a knife. If he's small, he wouldn't because he couldn't I'd, 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 I'd make little play sets and for him and I'd, film I'd, it and make out ad revenue on YouTube. He's not gonna just go after you with a knife. All I asked was, would you do fucked up shit to him? I'm in a room with Hitler. He's gonna worry about survival. He's fucking suffocating. He's gonna wonder where. His regime went like what's going on with his regime Where's and his shit. Where's his family? He's gonna care about that too. He had yeah. a dog. Yeah, I didn't ask any of that. I asked, what would you do? What do you mean? What would I, I do? Cry. I'm trapped in a room. <laughs> I fucking gave you the choice to be in the room. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You put me in the room with Tiny Hitler. <laughs> Look, the Who's only clone, the also isn't only clone, thing I asked. But he also, he thought he did the these things. Only he thing these things. The only thing I asked was... Can I breathe oxygen? The only thing I asked was... Are you gonna was, change the rules behind that, too? My god, listen to this Do guy. I need oxygen? The only thing I asked was, would you fucking torture a Can small version of Hitler? No! <laughs> Did Donald give me fire powers? Who? Donald Duck. Did he give me fire powers yet? He gave the you power fire. fire. Look, it's the Olympics logo. Is Seppel and Gleam playing on the intercom? <laughs> <laughs> Is there an intercom in there, too? There's is it a, a perfect copy of an intercom, but it's also smaller than a normal intercom? There's a 12 intercom kilobyte system. compressed copy of, being of a normal intercom. on screen. <laughs> Even though it's not sentient. Sentient. It remembers playing the news of JFK's assassination, gonna, but that's that about it. Sentient. Yeah, good. A good <laughs> you do man. that to me every fucking episode. Because you mispronounce everything horribly. You just went you sentient. Say the, you say the or button, <laughs> and you never correct yourself. People in the you kept saying Ozama. For me. Yeah, said, oh, what started this whole thing was Ozama. Ozama in the highest. <laughs> Said yes or no, but you had to fucking explode. I said it. no. We all said no. <laughs> we all said multiple times. Reasons. By the end of it, you were just asking more questions and adding because to it. Because it, so it, it didn't make sense. <laughs> it made no <laughs> sense. <laughs> It made zero sense. Chris, you were bringing up a hypothetical earlier today, they, on the topic of the Hitler one. Oh, what was it? You're again? bringing it back. You were asking, you said oh, earlier today. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember it. Okay, okay, new, new, add on to the Hitler hypothetical. All right, yeah, we're bringing and this that back. that proves Matt wrong, by the way. No, it doesn't no, prove it me doesn't. wrong. Yes, no, no, listen. Okay, wait, listen, listen. No, 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 no. We gave you our answer right out the door, and you kept it going. Your answer listen, sucks my ass. Start. Ding dong, listen. listen to his new hypothetical, okay. and tell me yeah. how this somehow proves okay. me wrong. Let's listen. Let's listen. Give him the benefit of the doubt. All right, ready? Okay. By your theory, this Hitler is a new Hitler who did nothing wrong. Okay. You will not torture him. Okay, first off, by our theory? It's not- You came up with this. This is a game theory, my friend. <laughs> Anyways, so, okay, now what if I clone Julian? Uh -huh. Okay, no, not Julian, fuck you. Okay, what if I clone your oh, girlfriend? Fuck okay. Julian. N nothing to do with Julian, never mind. What if I clone Matt's girlfriend and- I don't have a girlfriend, you fucking re- <laughs> Hypothetically. Wow. God damn it, Matt. What's wrong with Julian? Well, okay, okay, fine. I create. No, 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 no. It's important that it's I a want girlfriend. To be the clone. Okay. It's okay. So is it important it's a girl? It's important. Okay, it's got to be a significant other that you're fucking. Yeah, right. So if I make a clone of your significant other, 
and I fuck her, would you be upset? It's not the same person. No, would you be upset? No, you would be upset! No, because it's a clone. Let me tell you, okay, I would be upset if the original was gone. <laughs> yeah, but I, th I think it's, but yeah. But it's a new person? That's it a is good a, point! It good is, point, thank you! It is a new person, but I would still ascribe... As long as the original Chris, person... Chris prove anyone's wrong! Does. Emotional no, Chris, yeah. Chris, Chris! That's what I was saying! <laughs> the point is, it's a fucking clone! I'm not gonna care, because it's not the same person! Are you sure? Same thing goes for Hitler! The, yes, if because it's a clone of Hitler, listen, Chris. and he didn't fucking do anything, <laughs> I'm not gonna torture him, Chris. he didn't do anything! Chris, yeah. listen, Chris, listen. Mm -hmm. Let's say I got a beautiful girlfriend, and you make a clone of her... What's her name? I don't, I don't have... I have a girlfriend, so Shepiphany. I don't. Did you say Chipiphany. 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 All right, so I'm dating Chipiphany, okay? And Chris some manages to clone Chipiphany, and he wants to fuck her. As long as I have the original Chipiphany, and she loves me and doesn't have feelings for Chris, I don't care if he fucks yeah, Chipiphany's clone. Yeah, but now Chipiphany's fucking dead, and the clone remains. What? Then I obviously wouldn't want you to fuck her. If that died, I wouldn't care about the clone. She's not yours. She's a fucking clone. But it, yeah, but it. What the fuck is this? What does this? that mean? Now you're fucked! You got no answer! Wait, what do you mean? She, no, Chris, she's if, not me, mine, and now she's a clone. What does that mean? So she... Okay. What, when, did, when did she die? When did you bring this into the equation? Her body, her Julian, body, help me! Does her Julian, body help not me. exist now, and her consciousness shifted over to the clone? Because then that's just I her! I fucking told you they would have the same thoughts and memories. But you said no! Chris! Well, as long as the person. original exists! Chris, if the original exists, it doesn't fucking matter! But it's if, not the same person! Are you... Mm, even if, even again, I I would say even if the original is dead, get out of that shit. And the clone is the only one there. I would still argue it's a different person. Yes, me too. I would just be irrationally upset. Yes, mm -hmm. because yeah, it's a yeah, yeah, I would too. The person who fucking yes. died. Exactly. Like so, if I if I had, it's like you're rubbing it in at that. Point. Yeah. If, <laughs> yes. If I loved Shipiphany and she died, and then there was one hey, clone look, of her, I and Chris her. is still <laughs> fucking her, that I would make me feel bad. Too. I would think I'd be mad at you, Chris, because yes. you fucking did that. Yes, okay. I would. I would think as a as a good friend, you wouldn't be fucking my my dead girlfriend. Clone. You wouldn't cool. make a clone okay. of someone's. I trust your goodwill and friendship okay, that you well wouldn't now, do that. Now here's the new spin. Fucking Hitler runs off with Epiphany and leaves us all in the dust. Is it Hitler or a clone of Hitler? The clone Hitler. Is it I a clone or a, wait, okay, wait, 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 wait? Is it a clone or a perfect no. copy? Is the clone, put him in her pocket is the clone and they run Hitler, away? Is the clone of Hitler running off with the clone of Shepiphany? <laughs> or is er, er, the fucking Shepiphany put her in his fucking pocket and they both ran away? And which Shepiphany? The clone? Oh, Shepiphany clone for an Hitler clone. Fighting on a mountain. Who They're clones. I don't give a shit what they do. They're clones. I don't fucking care what they do. Fine. <laughs> Fuck her clone. Fuck little Hitler. I don't I'm care. Gonna fucking kill her. <laughs> I'm gonna kill normal. Don't kill her because as long as I have the real Shapiphany, I don't You're care. You're going to jail if you kill there her. There is <laughs> no Shapiphany. She's imaginary. She's my. So is Pocket Hitler. So is Pokemon. What? Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Anyways, you guys are gay. Right, thanks. Thank you, Chris. Well, Chris, you didn't prove anyone wrong. That's a great rebuttal. <laughs> Listen, it was. You guys I are like gay. Everybody scream. <laughs> because he's being irrational about it. I'm not being irrational. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Chris, hmm? how did it prove us wrong? One, you have no answers. What are you talking? We just talk gave you answers. An I'm just fucking with you guys. <laughs> One, you're wrong. Two, I'm right. I just right. wanted to see Three. how mad you would get. Shepiphany's dead. I'm not mad, I'm Chris. You're, you're, dude. I'm mad. Shepiphany's fucking dead. You mad, bro? <laughs> Matt. Yeah. Here's a new hypothetical. You're, you're peeling a banana. Okay. And you, you peel down the last thing, and, and a little face appears in the banana and it's just you. And it's the annoying orange. No, it's you. It's me? Yeah. Like my face on the banana? Yeah, he has all of your memories. So like it's- <laughs> <laughs> Are you asking would I eat it? Yeah. No, I wouldn't eat it, what I'd would be terrified. You, what would you do with it? But the problem or is if you trash. don't- if you don't eat it, it still rots at the same rate as a regular banana. Yeah. I'd have to call somebody. Would you I put would, it in the freezer? I, no, I'd have to call someone. I don't know who I would- who like I would call. exterminator. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have I need to, to exterminate my, my clone banana. <laughs> I'd have to call someone like special for that. I don't know who I would. Who, yeah, who's special for that? I'd have to call. I'd have to get in contact with. Why would you need list? an exterminator if you want to kill it? Just fucking hey, smush no, it. No, but that would be fucking weird for me to kill it. I'd have to. I'd have to call. So you get someone else to do it. I'd have to call Carl. Say no, he's dead. I'd have to call. Okay, but uh, what if he hears you on the phone? He's like, I, I can. I can understand you. I've, I've got all of the brain cells of a normal human. Please don't do this. Or do you Please. give it to Coco to eat? How does he know he has brain cells? Cause he's I would be disturbed and terrified if that Right, happened. exactly. I'd be very upset. What if you could see through the banana? Like, you, what? Can, actually, you can switch personalities with the banana. Oh, I see. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do. I'd probably... <laughs> probably... Would you hide the banana somewhere? 
so you could swap with No, I would I would have a mental people. breakdown. <laughs> I'd have a panic attack, probably. Matt, every day the banana's like... I'd have a banana uh, attack. I can feel myself rotting. <laughs> pain is so bad. But it's like me, any, it's any me pain, crying. Any pain the banana feels, you feel. Oh, no, shit. don't do that. I'd have to... I think it's I don't, I don't. think it's more disturbing to just observe it. Matt, he's because like... Because if, if he's, if the he's in pain the whole time, he's, gonna, he's not gonna... He's not gonna be able to, like, fully grasp the existential weight of it. This sounds like a terrifying nightmare. I mean, I put him in the freezer and I pull him out and he's all frozen. He's got, like, a terrified face on and, yeah. and he can't really wake up and I've ruined it. And Matt, every week, a new member of your family's... If your family gets added to yeah, the Yeah, different faces start appearing yeah. <laughs> up and down the your length of the I'd probably, I'd probably take the peel off, microwave it, and masturbate there, with it. There's... Oh my god. The, the first day that you <laughs> held it, it had your face on it, and as you felt the banana... You could feel something kicking inside of it, and it, all it could do is scream. And each day, a new face of a family member would appear on the banana, screaming in pain. It starts. And, and they're they're trying to get you to open the banana, but you're afraid to because you don't know what's actually inside of the banana. <laughs> oh wait, no, I thought that the banana was fully peeled and it had my face on it. No, no, it's just the tip. No, but Chris said when no, you, you it, peel the last thing off, it shows my face. Yeah, oh, that, you're it, right. it says, "Oh, my, my eyes are exposed to the natural light. I'm not used to this. It hurts. Please put the peel back." Up. But you can't. Would I staple it back shut? No, you just kind of flop it back down and leave him resting. Throw it on a wall. Who cares? Matt, what if he predicted natural disasters? This <laughs> <laughs> is just becoming a little bloated. <laughs> well, uh, it's less of a reason to kill it. I don't know. I would have. Well, what was the? Did I would have, have this, a reason to kill it to begin with? Because no. it's terrifying. But then I would have this strange guilt on my conscience for the rest of my life. Exactly. What, like maybe. Like what if this was the biggest break in scientific history, and and I and I killed it before exactly. they could study That's it. Exactly. That's why it's a. Uh, you Hypotheticals are good when you have a big choice to make. No, but they, they don't- but they, when they make no sense, like the fucking <laughs> tiny Hitler thing. That made sense to me. It I'm made sorry. no sense! <laughs> okay, Matt, your brain is exposed. <laughs> what kind of hypothetical? That's it. <laughs> I'd be dead, I'd what go into some sort do? of- I'd go into some sort of coma or, okay, and die. Okay, Matt, you, your brain is exposed and... And boy, is it embarrassing. <laughs> it's, re it's real embarrassing. No, this is not good. <laughs> Can't believe I came to the ball like this. <laughs> okay, Matt. Would you rather have your brain be exposed or your heart be exposed? I'd die regardless. No, you wouldn't. Not necessarily. I think if your heart's exposed, you'd be fine. You wouldn't die regardless. It, the The... Yeah, because in surgery, that your heart's exposed. I guess your brain is exposed in surgery, too. And by exposed, I don't mean it's bloody and out. Yeah, but the brain is more I mean, sensitive than the your heart. Your heart is the on the outside of your rib cage, beating away. You know, if I, if I barely, if, if, say I have my brain exposed, if, like, let's say a bug comes and lands on my brain, <laughs> it's gonna fucking kill me. Forget the letter B. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, my heart, it's like, I think that's more okay, and it's easier to control, like, the area around my- in my brain, I can't really see what's going on, but my heart, that's right in front of me. And okay, I'm, Matt, um, what would you rather, um, your brain be exposed with no skull, or your heart be on top of your skull, beating away? Wait, no what? skull? So it's just a brain in his head now? He doesn't have a skull? Yeah, so he has like a gelatinous blob. That's what I was- that's what I meant I don't the like these images, they're disturbing. That's, I love them. That's why I'm saying them. I wanna, Stop! I just wanna switch a little head around. Matt, your brain is pulsing without a skull, on top of your head like the fucking Mars Attacks aliens. <laughs> Or, you have a skull, What if all the veins on your body were ten times larger? Oh my god, that's gross. <laughs> that's gross, but my, my brain without a skull and just a pulsing, you, you know, I just... said, w would you rather have the, the exposed brain on your skull, I'd rather or have none of this! Fucking answer! Would you rather have the brain exposed, my, I'd rather have my heart on top of my head, that would look more normal than having just a fucking brain. But if, if, if fucking someone came over and slapped you in your head, your heart would explode and you'd If die. someone slapped Why my brain, I would explode? die. Not necessarily. <laughs> yeah, you go, no! <laughs> or you get really smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I, I have a, I have a scenario. Yeah. Okay. You're running as fast as you can through the woods to, and with the little to see how fast you can run. Yeah. You see, you think in your head, I'm, I'm faster than Sonic the Hedgehog. This is fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but you stop, in the, you stop in the middle of the woods in a giant opening in the middle of the woods. Yeah. And there you see a hole. Yeah. Yeah. And you you run over the hole and you look down the hole, and you see Sasquatch looking up, smiling, yeah. and two hands are closed, and he says. Red pill or blue pill? <laughs> <laughs> and he holds his hands out. <laughs> Red pill me, baby. What, does that, is that what you say? Fuck yeah, Chris, dude. What are you, what's your answer? I don't want to get blue pilled by Sasquatch. No, no, he's, just hey, he's probably trying to he's, date rape he's, me, dude. His, his, claw, his claws, his hands are just closed. He's down a hole. 
Like a two foot. It's like not that deep, but it's yeah, it's a hole. He's got that. He's, da- no. he's standing in a two foot hole, and he's six foot eight. Yeah. So he's the same size as you. He's just standing so he's in basically a like shallow yeah. hole. He's six exactly. foot eight. <laughs> exactly. And he's just. Red pill, red pill. It's up to his ankles. <laughs> <laughs> so if I take the blue pill, what what happens? Does he open up the hole and well, go further down? Say, you have to say red pill, blue pill. Okay, I say red pill. He, okay, okay. he opens the no, hole. No, I go he, down with him. No, no, he opens his hand and he goes, he eats it. But what? And, and anyways, he goes bye bye. <laughs> That's the red pill. Yeah, he goes bye bye. So okay, can the blue pill be? Uh, Get out of here! I don't want. I want the blue pill to be that he steps out of the hole and cracks his knuckles and beats me up. <laughs> <The> Why? <laughs> Why do you want that? Because the blue pill is bad and the red pill is good. Is it? Isn't it? I don't, I don't know. know. Isn't that the whole point okay, of the Chris, matrix? Okay, Chris, I don't know. You, say, you say blue pill. He goes watch this. And he takes. He pulls a snake out of the hole and he swings it as hard as he can. And he smashes it against the side of the hole. Why and is he dies. from fucking Cameroon or some yeah. African country? Cameroon? What are you doing? Yeah. He kills a snake in front of you and he smiles and he says, You want? I'd be like, You want snake? I yeah. guess this is your uh, circle of life thing going on here. I and, guess this is and okay. Then, and then he, he looks at you and his mouth opens and his eyes bulge. He says, You can talk? <laughs> <laughs> he digs as deep as he can go. He digs, he digs, he digs a tunnel to. He digs, I tell you, man, he to digs me. his thumbs into my eyes as deep as they go. <laughs> he sticks his thumbs through, th- through your head. <laughs> fucking, oh! I'd laugh. I'd be like, ah, oh. wow, <laughs> Bigfoot, why? He digs, he digs as hard as fast as he can. He digs like in one second. He digs a million feet in the earth and he buries it back up. <laughs> and I walk. What was that? What, what happened, Chris? Why just? What, what are you doing in this clearing? There's no evidence of Sasquatch. He dug and buried himself. What am I going to say, Zach? I swear to God, he dug and he buried himself right here. Who, who did? Who did? What happened? It was Sasquatch. I ran into the real Sasquatch. Okay. okay. Wait, wait. Back up a second. Sasquatch. His hands were like spades. and He dug into the ground and he covered himself up from inside like fucking like Santa Claus in Ed's world. <laughs> That's fucking surreal. That's not, yeah. It's a little bit different. It's no, it's the same. Listen. Okay, <laughs> so then, then the person's like, you're crazy, man. I don't believe that you saw a Sasquatch dig, and they run away. Like, oh, sorry, that truck, dude. But then a, a, a female Sasquatch comes out of the clear Gross. room. Does she have big, hairy tits? It looks identical, but you know it's a female Sasquatch. <laughs> That's what and, she sounds like. And she's wearing spectacles, and she says, <laughs> a Sasquatch with spectacles. Have you ever seen such a thing? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's, what's the right answer? What do you, what do you say? I say no. <laughs> what you're gonna insult a Sasquatch? She's gonna kill you. I would say that fucking sucks to remove those. You're a Sasquatch. What would you do if you woke up of your wife of seven years in bed and you found out she was a Sasquatch and she was blinking her big eyes? I thought you were gonna say she's being cu- you're being cucked by a Sasquatch. Hey, wha- <laughs> how how has she been hiding this? You can see from the proportions. She of was their, wearing like, makeup. Okay, that's fair. Um, I would say she's wearing a beautiful little pink dress. <laughs> I guess I would just try to shoo her out of my house. What if she says, I thought you loved my, me, my my hot pigtails. You you always come with my pigtails every day. Is I'd that be like, are you a smart Sasquatch? Yes, I'm a, uh, yeah, yes, we're trying to, I've been saying. My, I'd say, my, how many others of you z- my are first smart? Name, my first name is Sasquatch, my last name is Quatch. I thought you knew. <laughs> Sansa Squatch. What if instead of Bigfoot, there was a monster called Big Fuck, and he like, <laughs> and he just came and he fucked <laughs> you? He came and he fucked you? <laughs> he was and, like a regular sized person, but he had a big cock. <laughs> <laughs> this is a naked random. Just a guy r- He's describing a, r- <laughs> a random. R- it's called Big Fuck. An actual serial. R- I'd love that. They caught that East Area. Guys, everybody tweeted Joe Rogan that they discovered Big Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Please, everybody do it. <laughs> and uh, tell them they caught Big Fuck. It Photoshop regular men with big dicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wa- running it. through the woods. Hashtag big fuck. The creepier it looks, the better. Hashtag big fuck found. <laughs> big fuck at Joe Rogan. <laughs> Please. Tomorrow, what you do if you're playing a sweet fucking new video game? It was like, you say it's for a three, your favorite game. Yeah, you stupid asshole. What would you do? <laughs> no, it gets better. <laughs> you make your character... You get your juice, you got your you got your cat ear headphones on, you got a big smile on. Your beard is newly my trimmed. Ear, my cat ear headphones, yeah, okay. You, you, have a big, you have a big one-up <laughs> Mario detail. mushroom shirt. He's got a little plushy Mario poison mushroom. Yeah. I'm, I'm in my <laughs> yeah. I'm in my gamer form, <laughs> I get your, it. You're right. element. I'm and, pure uh, gamer. You got, you're all smiles and you get up to play the game, there's a Jewish star patch on your character's shirt, and you're like, what? I didn't put that Yay. there. Like, 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 it's really just offensive. It makes you sick to your stomach. But, but, you you, delete, but, you, but you, I can't help but wonder, like, well you, well like, you, like that. That's not a feature in the game. Yeah. So you, you delete and you file, make a new file. And you're like, all right. You eat a couple of that. You eat a couple of Doritos while you're waiting for the game to boot up again. You know, you're all gamed up, and yet again, you make it, and same thing. 
Still got that. Little, still the little Uden yeah, star. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, 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 you ah, sure, star, yeah. little patch. What do you do? It's starting to get a little creepy. I, I don't. Still... I, I obviously I call the ADL so they can. <laughs> you fucking tattletale. <laughs> <laughs> the Anti Defamation League will 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 hear about this. <laughs> Remember Saint Smith from Pretty Little Star? <laughs> Tomar, what if you went into Target and you bought a, like a plaid shirt, right? And you, you, you put it over the desk, and uh, the, the plaids are all like, you know, clear lines or whatever. But then the, the girl says, oh wait, there's a problem, I'll be right back, right? And then okay. she comes back, and she gives you the shirt, and you go home, and you wear it for like two years. But then you <laughs> notice one of the plaids is just the Star of David. Wait, what? Yeah, all these scenarios have been how harassed. The, how, can the, how, can the pla- how can the plaid just be the star of David? And I... It's really small. Yeah, it's, it's really, tiny. It's really fucking subtle. Yeah. Would you think she did it? Would you Would you think she was branding you for a future assassin of Hitler no, to get you? No, I would assume that like a Jewish guy designed it. I just but decided he, to stick that in there as, okay, as a little then, Easter egg. But then you read the label that's supposed to say your size and it says you're, it's coming. Well, then what? It says, 2019, it says March 2nd, 2019. Yeah, it's coming. Oh. And and the little star of David is also there too. It's growing every day. <laughs> the, the the fabric is growing. Within, within a month the star of David <laughs> takes up the entire shirt. <gasps> Fucking Christ. Oh my. I just shot him into a biscuit. Within 2 months the star of David has started to come Grow off. Eggs. It's it started to come <laughs> off the shirt and it actually fuse with my skin. Grows eyes. I've now actually got a f- like a it's like that's like your cool venom. It's like venom. It's suddenly, like symbiotic with you. Suddenly, a, a, a seven-digit number starts to appear on my forearm. I, I want to see a star of David fusing your skin like venom. It'd be sweet. Would you be mad if if uh, if she did that and then like like a week later you noticed you had a little tiny tattoo of the same star right where the, it was on your shirt? <laughs> I mean, I mean. I just, I think my first assumption would be that it was just ink that had bled through, I, but, but yeah, if it was actually a tattoo, if it was permanent, I think I'd be pretty upset. <laughs> You've been branded. <laughs> by a fucking shirt from Target. <laughs> oh fuck, well, hello. why do you think they call it Target? Tomar, what would you do if your boss called you into his office, he said, Tomar! And you walked into his office. Yeah, what would you do? And his mouth was twice as big as normal, that was the only difference. Ah, oh, they're shooting I me! I guess I'd, st- I'd start questioning whether I was dreaming. <laughs> I don't know what else, what other could, what, yeah, what, what other if, information could I glean from that? He, he takes out an apple, he eats it one bite, he goes, pulls up the stem and puts it on his desk. He says, Tomar, are you afraid? Do you have fear in your life, Tomar? A little. He says, Tomar, are you a risk taker? And he eats a pear whole. Not especially. Okay, that'll be all, Tomar, thank you very much. Would you ever tell anybody about that if that happened? I- yeah, I think I'd tell my wife. I think I'd tell Jaxie. You think you tell her? I'd tell her, yeah. I mean, if anything really weird happened... Even <laughs> you would tell your wife your I'd boss's t- mouth was twice the size yeah, that day? Yeah, I would, I would. Well, uh, that's, okay, what it okay. mean, that's what it means to be married, Okay, I'll, I'll, I'm your wife, and you tell me your boss's mouth was twice the size. So, Tomar, uh, the, what, do you, the, what do you want to do for dinner, Tomar? You know, the weirdest thing happened at work today. Yeah, but what do you want to do for dinner first? Let's but, not talk about that. Well, <laughs> it's kind well of a, let's get some angel tie, I guess, but... Aww. But that's aww. Just, that's, aww. so this thing. That's <laughs> 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 not what Jaxie would do. She wouldn't, she wouldn't scream at me. Okay, fine. Okay, oh, fine. Let's do. So keep going. No, no. Aww. It's so. This the the weirdest the thing happened you have at to work today. today. The weirdest thing happened to me today. The weirdest thing happened to me the today. Have to, what if what if she still do that to you? It's so lucky. <laughs> it's not something she. Then, I wouldn't marry then, a person who would do yeah, that. Yeah, but she does it now. You rub your you rub your eyes and her eyes. She does it now. Yeah, but, yeah, but you, rub, <laughs> you rub your eyes and her eyes are twice as big as normal. Oh no! And she goes, "What were you saying, Tomar?" And she blinks five times. And I say, "Am I t- <laughs> am I dreaming right now? Is this a cool fucking dream? Is Tomar? this a cool <laughs> Tomar? Have you ever seen the video of the guys driving down the long dusty road and a brick falls out of a truck? and kills the wife in the seat. That's the mother. That's horrible. Yeah, that's real. But what would you do if that happened and it hit Jaxie in the oh head? Oh my god, but, Chris. but it didn't kill her, it just like, oh made god. her look like a hammerhead shark. Holy I'd fuck. I'd be really upset. <laughs> I, I, I think I- I think I would- I would make a point to get that person's plates and file- <laughs> file a, a lawsuit. You get his plates? Yeah, get his plates! Your wife is deformed, you get his plates! What you call him? Not a fucking assassinate him or something? I mean... This man ruined yeah. your fucking I life. get his plates! Oh, no, fuck! 
He got me. I fine. I'd run him off the road so I could get his plates. Chris, what would you do if you were in your swimming pool and you were doing backstrokes, kind of like sort of fast? Yeah. And you started doing faster and faster, and it was like a sped up, it was like a million miles an hour. And you formed a little portal, and you went whoa, and you fell inside the pool, and you woke up exactly ten minutes before. What the fuck? So I woke he time traveled up? in the pool. Yeah, but t ten minutes in the past. That that's the only difference. Would you, tr would you try it again? Yeah. Wait, would wait. You... So he woke up ten minutes in the past, but it's not like a he didn't go into an overlapping reality where the other him is about to get in the pool. Yeah, but he knows. But he knows what's gonna happen because ten minutes ago it happened because he woke up ten minutes ago. I mean, it just sounds cool. <laughs> why, why I think, I I think if again? I were that, I'd do it again to see if the same thing happened. Yeah, you try to get Maybe I'd go back even Jesus. further. Maybe you could do that until you go back before he did something really bad. You go that back. You wish you hadn't done. Would you prevent 9 11 if you could do that? Just Maybe. Swim, you, swim for you like could. Seven months in a row. Just keeps going swimming until you got all the way back to 2001. Yeah, but at some point, at some point though, you'd be in somebody else's pool. Oh. Would you not? Because you're going back. You're not like. You know, it's like it's like Back to the Future when you're in the car, you're just in the pool still. As long as you can evade them every time until you get into the <laughs> portal, it doesn't them. matter. <laughs> they won't remember. I, well, yeah, I, well, yeah, exactly, because it's it's it's. it's so un, you'll it's, be going back to 2001 in 10 minute increments. But here's the point, though. You but have, you have all the time in the world because time's reversing. But if you prevent 9/11, that's a pretty big thing. You'd be a hero. You'd yeah, be, yeah, but you'd also be how like... How old would you be at, at, during during 2001? Well, so here's the question, though. Are you still aging back? Do you still have your own brain, or are you just aging back? Are you aging backwards, or are you the same age? Whoa. Uh, I'm assuming you would be... You'd be the same age, right? You'd, you'd be a little kid, because it's reversing time. I suppose, but the, isn't the pool... Doesn't but you're keeping your memory. That's what's critical there. You're keeping your memory. Yeah, my point is, if the brain's the same, wouldn't it so be... So in 2001, how old would you be, Chris? Like... Uh, 10? 10? So he'd be... So he'd be this 10-year-old who calls up the FBI they, they from Ireland... Fucking, yeah. And they goes, wouldn't. there's terrorists and they're gonna fly planes into the... They would not center. fucking believe me. Okay, Chris, do your wouldn't best... Wouldn't they be obligated to, if if you were sincere, sincere enough about yeah, it? Yeah, but how do you... What do you say? I came from the year 2018 because I, I swam backwards my pool you, for six months? <laughs> you'd have to research some of the facts. You'd have to... Give them things that only someone... Like, they might suspect you of being a terrorist, because you'd have to know things I wouldn't things fucking... Though. I wouldn't undo 9-11. Okay. I wouldn't do that. Okay, but Chris, pretend you're 11 years old and But then it would be so much FBI. nicer at airports. Yeah, no, but it's gonna happen either way. Maybe something worse would happen. Maybe <laughs> maybe this is the best outcome in history. I don't know. Maybe, but what, what if we didn't it do... It means no they wouldn't ele elevate security and maybe something yeah, worse maybe would happen. Yeah, maybe they would have Who snuck knows? a little a little nuclear bomb inside. Instead of what? Instead of the, te mo the motherland of the U.S. To McDonald's. To McDonald's, yeah. To McDonald's ball pit. Yeah. 